Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. I've done a uh, few videos on this channel to date about my various uh, border spotting escapades here in Israel. I've kind of had a fascination with uh, borders ever since I was a kid. I went to Nicosia in Cyprus, which has a big and very prominent border running through it. And since then, borders have kind of been of interest to me. They're also a good uh, way to explore the kind of peripheral parts of Israel that uh, folks often otherwise don't visit. If you are by any chance also interested in borders, check out my videos on Hunan Castle uh, in uh, the north of Israel, which is a really good place to see <coughs> the Lebanese border, just about as close as you can get as a civilian because that's considered a very, very tense, hostile border. So the army, for very good reasons, doesn't let you go uh, too close to the actual border. But you can see it and you can also see it from... Metula, uh, the northernmost town in Israel, you can get really, really up close to the fence there. So close that you can see houses, cars, and even Hezbollah flags on the uh, Lebanese side of the border. So it really makes an impression about how small this part of the world is. The one border I haven't done much um, exploration of is Israel's border with Egypt, which is, of course, Israel's southern border. It's a border that was fortified by a big fence a number of years ago and it's probably best known in Israel as unfortunately being the border through which there is a lot of human trafficking and drug trafficking less so since they built a big fence on it um, but that is the border it's located along the desert literally so it's a desert border with, with desert on both sides of it um, and I heard from friends there is a road you can drive on during special occasions let's say when the army allows civilian traffic and that is called route 10 in hebrew kvish eser and i wanted to just do this short video for those who are thinking of doing this just to give a little bit of info in english because there are lots of videos in uh hebrew mostly a few in english driving on the border but i wanted to just uh point folks in the right direction if you're interested in this sort of thing for an expedition so the resources I found are really mostly in Hebrew, uh, so you should, uh, if you are interested in doing this and knowing when um, it's accessible, type into Google Gvish SL and you'll get a number of uh, informational resources like this one from Negev Tours. Uh, this, is a, this is a crazy video and this is showing what it is. It's basically um, a narrow road typically used. It's It's... Every border in Israel, whether it's the Lebanese border or the Jordanian border, has a road or the Gaza border or the de facto border with the West Bank typically has an army only road right next to the border. Typically, you can't go there as a civilian. There's signs saying army only. So Gvish Eser is one of those roads. You can see it's a little narrow track right by the border fence. But unlike the other borders of Israel, the army, um, I guess because it's a relatively calm border, given that there's a peace treaty with Egypt, they do let civilians drive on it um, on specific dates. So uh, there's lots of quite a decent amount of in info about it here in Hebrew. Um, they do warn that there aren't like gas stations for and it's quite a long stretch of road through the desert. So you want to make sure you have a full tank of gas before going there and you also need to check the dates it's open in advance so by searching for Kvish Eser you should find these dates these are the dates um, that the border road is open for I believe yeah 2022 <clears throat> and they give you a little elevation guide as well <clears throat> as well as a phone number to call uh, for the army department so the deal is that you can drive on it during the dates but if it's not in the dates, uh, you either can't go or you have to ask specific permission for the army. I've no idea whether they give out these like exceptions easily. But there is a phone number there that you can contact. And they do actually answer the phone. I've called them and they'll even confirm the uh, open dates uh, with you as well. So they're pretty helpful. Uh, here is another blog with some cool photos of the border road, Kvish Eser. You can see an Egyptian um, army post on the Egyptian side of the border there. They're pretty distinctive looking as opposed to the idf posts they have like different coloring and all that and you can see it's just it's a little narrow road there with the border fence right in front of it um what else now the route of kvish eser just for those curious i'm gonna do a little bit of a uh, google touring here and just 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 to see show you where it goes because the they don't always open the whole road at one time 
So sometimes it's sections, so it's useful useful to know the geography. So this is a last in the south of Israel. This is Taba border land border crossing going into Sinai, which is an interesting experience to cross there. And coming up northbound from Elat, you have Route 12. You actually have to kind of zoom in to see where Route 10 starts, right? It's this little white road here, and there's a junction here. <clears throat> I'm sure it has a name. I'm not quite sure what that name is. But you can see 12 forks off to 10. And 10, you really have to zoom in to be able to even see the road because it's just a little dirt track, essentially. 10 then begins to hug the border heading westward. Now, if you turn on a navigation layer, we might be able, it might be a little bit easier to see and you can see that it's a desert. And then it continues all the way north, 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 north. You can see Route 10 here. Uh, and I'm gonna zoom out a bit so this doesn't take forever. The only really town, there's a monument here. The first town you're gonna hit is Nitsana, which should be coming into view. And there's a road on the Egyptian side of the border as well. You can see the Taba Rafa road. Rafa is in the uh, Gaza Strip. So it comes a little bit away from the border. There's a little bit of kind of skirting and then we're right back to the border itself. Nitsana, I believe there is a land border there, a land border crossing, but it's not in regular use. So Taba is, for commercial goods, Taba these days is the only land border crossing between um, Israel and Gaza. Here we go. And here is Nitsana. So that's the only really sort of notable town um, on the Israeli side. I don't think there's really much on the Egyptian side. And then if we can continue further west, north, yeah, northwest just for a little bit longer, you'll eventually hit the uh, fence with the Gaza Strip. This is the Gaza Strip and Karen HaShalom. And at this point, 10 ends and it turns into Route 232 going north along the Gaza border. And this is a checkpoint here. So you can continue past this, uh, past this junction. So that is uh, Route 10 for those interested in a bit of uh, less typical uh, um, off the beaten track exploration in Israel. If you are interested in doing it, you should um, I use your Hebrew and put in Kvish 10 into Google and then make sure that you check the dates um, that it's open. If you want to double check, you can call the army or uh, if you're looking for permission to go in during, during something else, check the army and pay attention to all those notifications regarding the fuel uh, because probably the last thing you want to happen is to run out of petrol or gas while you're on a tiny army patrol road in the middle of the desert in the middle of the summer. That does not sound like fun to me. If you're thinking about doing this expedition, I hope this was useful. Um, I am doing this expedition again at a unspecified point in the future and I will be posting some videos from the little trip. Thank you guys for watching. More videos for me on uh, the usual miscellany of subjects coming soon to this YouTube channel.